Hello, everyone. Dr. Yo here. You are on the Steady Coach. And today I'm going to be answering a relatively controversial question in this unedited video as part of my Ask Dr. Yo series, in which I answer questions that come to me from you, either in my YouTube comments or all the other streams of communication that I receive from you. So this question relates to a topic that really is unavoidable because it's been on all of our minds for the past several years, and it relates to post-COVID symptoms. So what I've noticed is that people who have found me after having their dizziness onset with COVID wonder if there's a difference in the way they should be addressing their long-term dizziness symptoms versus people whose dizziness started with something else. And on my channel, something else can mean a legitimate ear injury, like something resulting from neuritis, which is inflammation of the vestibular nerve that can cause permanent damage to the way that one ear sends information to the brain about your balance. Or for others on my channel, totally spontaneous, no medical explanation for why they started. And then a lot of other people in between with other conditions that started their symptoms. So to answer this question again, to make this more simple, do I treat long COVID or post COVID related dizziness any differently from how I treat other forms of neural circuit dizziness? medically unexplained chronic dizziness symptoms? And the answer is no. I do not view post-COVID dizziness, again, assuming there's no medical reason why it's still there, as any different from these other forms of neural circuit dizziness. So if you're new to my channel and you're finding this information because you're looking for COVID, I very, very highly suggest you watch my video that I will link to in the video description below on what neural circuit dizziness is and the other video that I will also link to on whether I'm saying that these symptoms are psychological. Because I've noticed that there's a lot of political charge around COVID specifically. And very understandably, people are up in arms when they hear someone suggesting that there may be some psychosocial components at play when they're physically suffering from horrible debilitating conditions. So I would love for you to watch those videos to fully understand what I'm talking about when I'm referring to neural circuit dizziness. But if you're not new to my channel, you already know what I'm talking about. So you can watch them as a refresher if you'd like. Okay. So why do I say this? I say this because from my perspective, there it is very understandable and possible that COVID has a direct effect on the inner ear and on the vestibular system. And I have another video in which I explain in a much more cut and dry way what ways COVID might be hurting your inner ear or vestibular system. So I will also link to that video in the description below. However, at the end of that video, I explain that if there is no physical tissue damage explanation for why you have dizziness six months after having COVID, then we're not dealing with tissue damage as the cause. We're dealing with a nervous system error. So the symptoms are a hundred percent real. I, I don't, I'm sure I, I don't need to tell you that you're probably very debilitated if you're dealing with long-term dizziness symptoms. However, the symptoms are resulting from a prediction error that's leading to a nervous system miscalculation. And that is why you have debilitating symptoms, not because the virus has caused horrible, irreversible change to your body that's going to lead to symptoms forever. And this is a complete paradigm shift from the conversation that we're generally having about post-COVID symptoms. And I want to be very, very clear that I'm not denying the true biological damage that COVID has caused for many people. However, 
from my experience, the people who find their way to my channel, the people who are still debilitated six months later, are not necessarily the people who were hospitalized for COVID and have actual tissue damage and resulting long-term symptoms. These are folks who've recovered, maybe had a bad bout of COVID for sure, but there's no good medical explanation. There's no good biological explanation for why the symptoms are persisting. And this lines up in every possible way with, with everyone who has triple PD. Every single person who has triple PD falls into this category. They may have had some kind of vestibular issue like we discussed could have happened with COVID, or they may have had no clear cause of tissue damage, but they ended up in exactly the same boat as you did if you've been dealing with post-COVID dizziness symptoms. And the good news here is that because those two things, again, are the same, triple PD is the same as post-COVID dizziness, and all of those things fall into the category of neural circuit dizziness, this is great news because it's treatable, it's curable, it's not resulting from a permanent irreversible change in the body. It's a software issue, not a hardware issue. So the program in your brain that's causing the dizziness is causing real awful debilitating symptoms, but it's not a hardware issue. Hardware issues are harder to fix. Software issues require you to reprogram your brain. And that's something that you can do on your own using all of the techniques that I talk about here on my channel, in my free course, and in all of my other resources. So I am making this video because I've seen that the people who've ended up in my membership community with post-COVID symptoms often feel particularly hopeless because there's so much, again, political hoopla about COVID-specific dizziness in the first place or post-COVID anything in the first place. And I want to say that, and this may be a, the most controversial statement here that I make, the body and the mind are connected 100% of the time. All illness, all symptoms are biopsychosocial. This doesn't mean that symptoms are in your head. This means that the very real biological impacts of stress, of trauma, of social support or lack thereof, of alienation, of anxiety, of all these things that all of you have been dealing with over the last few years have a have an effect on how well your body can handle anything, including COVID. There is no separating the psychosocial context of COVID infection from the post- COVID symptoms that people have. And this is not, again, in any way implying that it's psychological. This is implying that all of you who ended up with post-COVID dizziness got sick in a really, really vulnerable state. You got sick at a time when stress levels were incredibly high, when you're dealing with the post-COVID economic fallout, and goodness knows what else is going on in your life, the far-reaching impacts of the pandemic on your emotional health, on your psychological health, on and therefore on your body's health, because the mind and the body are a system that is, it's one system, those things affect how well your brain can recalibrate and adapt to any changes that occurred as the result of the virus. And this, again, it's a software problem, not a hardware problem. It's treatable. It's curable. And I invite you to please use the techniques here on my channel, knowing fully that you are no different from anyone else here who has triple PD, MDDS, vestibular migraine, and all these other awful conditions that existed long before COVID. And continue to happen to people who've never had COVID and don't have COVID as the precipitating event, in other words, the event that led to the symptoms coming on, you are in exactly the same boat, both figuratively and literally for some of you. I'm very sorry to make that pun. So again, please review all of the 
resources I have on my channel knowing you belong here and these techniques are going to help you just as they help anyone who didn't develop symptoms after COVID. All right. So I hope this answers that question. I hope that I was able to present a balanced enough view here that people can get the message and understand that I'm giving you a message of hope and agency, not a message of it's all in your head. And again, I look forward to your questions and comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please like it, please share it, and please subscribe to my channel as well. Thanks, guys. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.